in this video, we will go through the basic Terraform workflow, which includes write, plan, and apply. So we are going to follow this Terraform workflow to deploy a virtual machine in AWS. After we deploy this virtual machine, we'll go through the functionality of a state file, how the state file is created, and what description does it contain. And once we create this infrastructure and we know that the infrastructure is up and running, this EC2 instance is up and running, we will clean up the infrastructure and then we will use Terraform destroy uh, to destroy the EC2 instance which we created. To get started uh, with Terraform, Terraform is widely adopted infrastructure as a code tool in the market. So there are many other uh, infrastructure as a code tools like Pulumi. You have also Crossplane, which is a top wrapper for Terraform. But Terraform itself is the widely used tool because of its open source nature, uh, because of its cloud availability, like uh, Terraform is available in the cloud edition. And Terraform is also available in the enterprise scale. Like if you are managing a huge infrastructure across multiple clouds, uh, like Azure, AWS, Google Cloud, um, probably the best way to implement is through uh, Terraform Enterprise. Now coming to Terraform, Terraform is also becoming like an ecosystem. This is my personal opinion, what I see. For example, uh, as a policy, as a code, um, what we are doing is we are integrating either OPA, Open Policy Agent, or we have uh, HashiCorp Sentinel at a Terraform enterprise level. So Terraform is also becoming like an ecosystem. So Terraform integrates with a lot of other tools like um, HashiCorp Vault, for example, to store all your secrets. It, it makes it like an ecosystem. So it's a really good skill to have in the cloud engineering space as well as the cloud operation space. So let's get started. We have our Terraform already installed. So basically, whenever you install Terraform, um, you first thing you need to do is do a Terraform init. So Terraform init is the initialization phase of Terraform. So whatever the package, Terraform package you installed will actually um, get in initialized using the Terraform init command. So when you can do this is when you create your first files inside your Terraform directory. So in order to create a Terraform directory, we will use the same Linux command, which is, and we will call it Terraform underscore auto demo. So this is going to be our first directory where we are going to create our Terraform code. So Terraform code is always uh, ends with .tf file, which indicates that this particular file is the Terraform code. So let's go to that folder. Uh, which we created or the directory which we created right now this is an empty directory we don't have anything but what we're going to do is we're going to create a file called main.tf so main.tf basically what i'm saying is i'm going to divide the things so for example main.tf will deploy the ec2 instance which i want to create uh, but if i want to create a vpc i can create something called a network.tf it doesn't matter what naming convention you use uh, all it matters is like uh, the layout that you manage for your entire stack deployment. That's how organizations basically do it. So with the main.tf, what I can insert in this main.tf, uh, the first thing I need to do is add the provider file. So provider is you're telling uh, Terraform to which cloud you need to contact in order to make this infrastructure. So here in this case, what we are going to do is we are going to uh, we are going to add the AWS provider, and we are saying that it use only the region uh, US East one uh, to do this. So this is the provider file. So it knows to which uh, cloud provider it needs to talk. You can also integrate your on-premises things, and what you are going to do next is the add uh, the resource to it. So basically resource can be anything that you create. For example, a VPC is a resource. And in this case, we are creating an AWS instance and we are calling it uh, with the name as uh, VM. We need to provide an AMI, which will be our uh, AMI ID. You need to provide a subnet ID. So where you want to create this EC2 instance, your instance type, 
and the tags. You can use a lot of other parameters to configure the EC2 instance that you create and all of them are widely explained in the, um, in the documentation. So with this done, so what we're going to do is save this file. So we have our first Terraform file that's been created. If you have seen, uh, what we have done is we did not enter the um, username, uh, I mean, uh, the AMI IDs. So in this particular hands-on lab, we have our AMI ID and the submit ID here. So what we're going to do is we are going to quickly add them into the uh, into the code. So main.tf, let me quickly add them. So we added the AMI ID and the submit ID. Submit ID is already created and it exists in our account. So very important, it should exist. So now let's save this file. Now we have our first Terraform file set up. This is the main file which is deploying an EC2 instance with the specific AMI ID to a particular submitter. So now what we're going to do is uh, basically do the initialization of the Terraform directory. So what it does is basically it initializes the backend and uh, copies the provider plugins and then it initializes the working directory. So now we have our working directory initialized. So what we can do right now, the first thing, now what workflow did we complete? We have completed writing the first Terraform template. So write is done. So what we're going to do right now is do a plan. So Terraform plan, it's a dry run. It, it won't um, set anything up for you, but it will tell what it's going to do. So when you do Terraform plan, it will give you what it's going to do. It's going to create one, it's going to add one, zero to change and zero to destroy. So we can also do something called out with the parameter. So for example, I can do Terraform plan hyphen out um, and I can say save this in the, um, in the cloud user um, home directory and let's save it with um, technology first uh, dot txt so what happens is um, this particular file will um, go through that uh, basically um, the text file is not acceptable but you can um, you understood the concept right what we can do um, with the out parameter you can save the plan uh, somewhere for future reference so now with uh, all this done what we can do uh, is um, we can apply. So apply is a stage where you are saying you have verified your plan and you want to apply this plan. So that particular virtual machine will be created. So you can do Terraform apply. And you can also apply on a particular plan if you're doing multiple plans. And Terraform does something like uh, to confirm the actions. Uh, you just need to say yes. You can automate this process and you can also add an approval system if you're doing this on the on the CICD pipelines. That this is very helpful uh, process in doing this. So what is happening right now is uh, Terraform is doing the API level contact with AWS. It, it takes your credentials from your directory. You need to configure your AWS credentials. And what it does is basically it contacts AWS using those particular CLI credentials, uh, uh, those credentials, and then it will apply this plan, whatever the dry run it did with the plan, it will apply the same settings onto AWS. So a particular EC2 instance has been created. Uh, you can see one is added. So this is the instance that has been created. Now let's quickly log into AWS to verify that we created that instance. So if you go to the EC2 instance, you will find my first node. So that's the name we provided in the Terraform template to create. So you have your instance here. You remember we created that in the East um, US um, region 1a region so this is our first uh, terraform node that we created so uh, the instance which we created is up and running now let's destroy this particular instance so we need to clean up so let's say the life cycle is also 
uh, we need to create as well as ma ma manage and delete so we are going to delete it but before deleting this let's understand what is um, a state file we are back on the console so when we applied this particular terraform what it did is basically it created something called uh, the tf state file so if you try to view this state file it will tell what um, infrastructure or what resources you built on your uh, aws so it will it will tell what is the name what tag it used what subnet it used so this is like the information that it contains on that particular creation like what a ec2 instance it created and what are the different settings it used so once now what we did is we verified the state file we understood the functionality of state file now what we're going to do is we are going to use terraform destroy you can use it from the same working directory and it will immediately go with that and so just a minute so you can use terraform destroy and that will destroy the resources for you make sure you enter your um, spelling and everything correct so right now what we said is to destroy what the environment that we created the ec2 instance so what terraform is doing is if you understand the terraform workflow which includes write plan apply and destroy you understand the complete terraform so that's the workflow of terraform i hope this video is informative thank you so much for watching it if you um, have any questions please do let me know in the comment section till the next video Happy learning.